Hey guys, it's Missy Gordon, the Mud Mystic here. Just me and my friend, Mr. Claire. Just chilling, hanging out, reading some cards for y'all. Go watch the other readings that I did today. Pretty fun. Pretty interesting. Probably apply to you. We talk a lot about universal truths in my readings. You know? I know that a lot of people are just trying to see if, like, Robbie cheated on them. Or if their DM is coming their way. I'm a lesbian, so... You know, that stuff's a little heteronormative for me. I know it's all energy. It's energy. It's energy. We're not talking about gender. We're talking about energy. I know. I know. I know. Just saying. I'm going to do three card pull for you guys. Look into the light. Look into the light. Already pre-shuffled. Bad habits. Na, na, na. I, all I know of that song is the words bad habits. I don't know any of the other lyrics, and that song has come through multiple times today in my readings. Bad habits. Da, 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 da. The hang fancy ying sings from another perspective. <laughs> that doesn't roll off the tongue. Eight of Pentacles. You're working. You're working on seeing something from another perspective here. Oh, mama. And because you're doing that, you look at you. You're going from the eight to the nine. And I love this nine of pentacles. This girl is badass. She is just like, look at her dress. Shit's glamorous as hell. She's just drinking wine. She's sitting like on her luxurious couch with all her money just like shimmering from behind her. And she's just like, she's just... She's just thinking about everything that she did to get here. And she's like, you know what, motherfuckers? I did it all on my own. I'm a business owner. I'm uh, I'm an influencer. I am a, uh, a way maker. I, I, I am a uh, karmic cycle breaker. I am um, stronger than I've ever been. Um, I am standing on my own two feet. Doesn't mean she's chronically single. Just means she's able to take care of herself without anybody paying her cell phone bill. She can pay it herself. Um, so what I'm seeing here, though, specifically is something is changing in your perspective about yourself with the hanged man. You're working on that perspective consistently. You're working on self-worth, self-esteem here. And what's interesting to me is that that's showing up with pentacles. So I look at pentacles not only as money, but as self-esteem. Because pentacles represent earth. They represent our life, our breath, our everyday, our, our way of being, our ontology, if we want to get theological about it. So what I'm seeing here is that this new perspective about yourself, this new self-empowerment that you're coming into, that you're working on, that you're constantly working on, like she's getting her hands dirty, she's literally out here doing the work, is actually going to cause overall not only your self-esteem and your self-worth to increase, but your actual material wealth. Because Nine of Pentacles is like one step away from the Ten of Pentacles. And look, we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck here. You're coming into union with yourself. Look, and we also have the two of cups in the sun and the judgment card. You're waking up. You're waking up. See that big eye? And see her eyes are closed? You're waking up to who you really are and have always been. This has always been you, but now you just have the, you know, the balls, the bank account to prove it. You're shining like the sun in front of everyone, okay? We also have the lovers and the two of cups. So this is union with yourself. Look, they're drinking wine as well. See, once you know how to drink a glass of wine alone, and I, I, I've been sober for many years, so... I, for me, I, I'd be drinking, like, something non-alcoholic. But regardless... Sitting here drinking wine by yourself, once you can do that, then you can drink wine with somebody else that will actually love and accept you for who you are and be proud of you for being this. 
instead of being threatened or whatever. See, you're coming into union with yourself. This is like, this is like this. Once you're able to hold your own hand through the dark night of the soul, then the universe can bring you a companion to do the same here. Okay, so it's like, it's like dual. And I'm seeing multiple things happening in your life because you're waking up to who you really are. And it's beautiful and it's inspiring. And it's always been true, but you had to see yourself in another way from another perspective. You had to see yourself through the eyes of the universe. I, I wrote this song on my my album, Ferris Wheel. I'm trying to even remember what album it was. If you look up Missy Gordon, you can see all my old albums. On my album, Ferris Wheel, I wrote this song, Through Your Eyes. And I saw my life through your eyes. And I saw my life through your eyes. You saw your own life through the divine's eyes and were able to see how the divine sees you. This is how they see you. And you're starting to see yourself this way as well. But it took that initial work, that perspective shift. Watch my other readings that I did today because they had similar themes to this. Much love to you guys. It's been Missy Gordon the Metamystic here. And until next time, take care. Bye. Oh, and uh, follow me on Instagram at honeybee music. Honeybee is or B is spelled B33. I put 33 because it's a master number. <sighs> yeah, I started marketing myself um, under my new band Honeybee instead of Missy Gordon because all of my old music, not all of it, but a lot of it is like it's through the lens of my past Christian minister, Christianese. You know, I, I was I was singing. I had to write songs that the church wouldn't reject, and they still rejected them anyways because they could they could sniff that I wasn't one of them anyways. Even back then, so I I altered my lyrics to sound more Christian. You know, and using Christian themes and, and Christian terminology so that I would be accepted, but I still wasn't. Um, so I decided when I relaunched myself recently that I would start a band called Honeybee. Honeybee, the reason I called it Honeybee is because my name is Melissa. My name is Missy. My name, my full name is Melissa. And the word Melissa, the name Melissa means honeybee. So I called myself Honeybee. And so now I'm putting out music under Honeybee. But if you want to listen to my old music that I've written over many years, I don't even know how many albums I have. Six, seven, I don't know. I've been playing music for a long time. But you can look up Missy Gordon and you'll find my past albums. You can find them on Spotify. Uh, Bandcamp has a few. YouTube. I've done a lot of shit, you guys. And now here I am, and I'm doing tarot. And the church thinks I'm a heretic, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Um, I'm doing what I feel called to do, and I feel called to be here to talk to you, and so that's what I'm doing. This is the community that I, 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 I want to talk to. And so thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. It's really nice to, to meet you guys. And to be around some people that don't openly hate me just because of my sexuality. Right? I was a minister for 10 years. And there was a lot of pain that I went through on a daily basis because of that. So thanks for loving me and accepting me for who I really am. Much love you guys. And until next time, take care.